On Ebola today, we just got word that infected Dallas nurse Nina Pham has been upgraded to good condition. Also, the U.S. imposed travel restrictions on people arriving from West Africa. Now, passengers from Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone must land at one of five U.S. airports where extra screening has been set up. Also, the CDC is now recommending that health care workers use protective clothing that leaves no skin exposed and that they follow a buddy system so that that clothing is used properly. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Thousands of healthcare workers attended an Ebola education session this morning in New York City. So before Barbara goes in to see the patient. The featured demonstration, the new CDC procedures for wearing and removing personal protective equipment. Debbie Freeland is a nurse. I think I have the knowledge, I need the practice. And taking my garments on, taking them, put, taking them off, I need that practice. The increased measures aim to protect workers performing aggressive measures like dialysis. Valuable lessons have been learned from the cases treated here in the U.S. For example, rehydrating the patient with up to 10 liters of fluids a day helped prevent shock. And the importance of having a designated nurse care for each patient. Dr. Daniel Bausch has been researching Ebola for 20 years and says we need to know more about what happens right after infection. We, we don't have a lot of scientific data on that, but our observation over many years is such that we don't see transmission from people in a casual way, shaking hands and exposure to sweat. Bausch says there's a delicate balance between providing increased protection and creating confusion with what's being called an abundance of caution. Last weekend, a Coast Guard helicopter was sent to a cruise ship to get a blood sample from an isolated healthcare worker with no symptoms. When we say that this virus is not spread by casual contacts, that it's not spread during the incubation period, and then we say someone who, who is in that period is going to be isolated for 21 days, how can people interpret that? One more lesson we've just learned. At Emory, dialysis was performed on an Ebola patient and no healthcare workers got infected. This is important because Thomas Eric Duncan received dialysis in the Texas hospital where two nurses caught the virus. But the Emory case shows dialysis can be done safely. John, thank you very much.